Primary Lateral Sclerosis Primary lateral sclerosis is a neuromuscular disease, characterized as a rare, non-hereditary, idiopathic, slow and progressive degeneration of the upper motor neurons. Approximately, 2-5% of adults in neuromuscular clinics are diagnosed with PLS. The age of onset is approximately 40 years and older, though a juvenile onset form of PLS has been identified as well. Although the difference is not pronounced, there is a slight male predominance over females in being diagnosed with PLS. The exact cause of adult onset PLS remains unknown. PLS is a diagnosis of exclusion, meaning that individuals are diagnosed with the condition when their progressive upper motor neuron dysfunctions cannot be explained by any other possible cause. The juvenile form of PLS is thought to occur due to mutations in the Olsen or ALS2 gene. The effects of this mutation manifest with maturity. PLS is due to upper motor neuron degeneration. Therefore, clinical presentation is consistent with signs and symptoms of UMN disorder in the absence of lower motor neuron symptoms. These UMN signs and symptoms include spasticity, hyperreflexia, and weakness. Other potential symptoms include stiffness and increasing difficulty maintaining balance with the progression of the disorder. PLS may affect the bulbar region and the medulla, causing degeneration of the lower cranial nerves. Bulbar signs and symptoms include dysphagia, dysarthria, and pseudobulbar effect or emotional lability. PLS is classified as slowly progressive. The typical pattern of progression is spreading from side to side, region to region. It may start in the bulbar region and descend down to the limbs, or it may start in the lower extremities, progress to the arms, and then the bulbar region. Symptoms spread slowly over many years before plateauing. In 70% of the cases, the progression starts on the lower half of the body, then moving up to the trunk, arms, and face. In 15% cases, it starts on the arms, and the other 15% of cases start on the face. In the case of diagnosing, the prognosis is the crucial differentiating factor between PLS and ALS. However, it is still common for patients to be diagnosed with PLS but later diagnosed with ALS instead, and vice versa. Due to the overlap in signs and symptoms, a misdiagnosis can occur. The diagnostic criteria for PLS were proposed by Pringle et al. In 1992, insidious onset of spastic paresis, beginning in the lower extremities, but may appear in the bulbar or upper extremity first. Adult onset, 50 years of age or later. No family history of PLS. Gradual progression of the disease. Duration, 3 years or more. Clinical findings limited to those usually associated with corticospinal dysfunction. Symmetrical distribution, ultimately developing severe spastic spinobulbar paresis. Normal labs and electromyography. Currently, there is no cure for PLS. Therefore, treatment primarily focuses on relieving symptoms and preserving function. Physical therapy. Baclofen, dantrolene, and tizanidine for muscle spasticity. Surgically implanted Balcofen pump. Anticholinergic medication or botulism toxin injections for drooling. Feeding tube for dysphagia. Assistive devices such as walkers or wheelchairs for gait impairments. If you like the video, please hit those like and share buttons. Have you seen patients with PLS? Comment below. Thanks.